net in dat geval, alles altijd dezelfde en alles duidelijk gevallen op alle dingen bepaald. So ja, ik denk dat ze focus op ons ook, weet je, die week om te kijken, luister zo. So, als we zeker een fout te maken, hoeveel kunnen ze reageren goed. So, onze reacties spelen en alle goed zijn so baie beter dan wees hier in Nabi Pompeteren te wees. Want alles is zelf is enig van die twee museum spannen. Als je zwak tegen hulle gaan wees, en nie opvat tegen hulle gaan wees, nie gaan hulle vir jy Je praat nou oor die, oor die reacties, Piet, en daar was onder andere ook gesê geweest dat die Afrikaanse spannen en onder andere die boels nie fiks genoeg is. Conditionering is nie goed genoeg. Ja. Wat kan jullie doen hier half pad? Kijk, ik denk dat zeker een building blok zit je een plek in staan om beter te worden. En dan zie je wat je gaat niet moeilijk alles raak kunnen stellen. Ik weet ze, mensen hebben een misconceptie van conditionering. Dat is niet conditionering in die gym. Dat is hoe jij die gym vat met die veld toe, dat is een puzzle wat je aan elkaar moet zetten. En wat je dan kijkt hoe die museum aanspannen, dit doen, schoot Ramsen praat en nadruk ook weer. Dat is zeker goed wat ons beter kan doen nu, wat ons een plek kan stellen om voor te gaan, maar je gaat het niet moeilijk alles raak kunnen fixen. So dat is geen conditionering die met van rond dat loops. Dat is van building blocks en die pas wat in elkaar moet komen. Als je verstandig bent, dan En als ik kan just repeat dat in Engels, in terms of fitness. Catch it on school. Eh? What, can, <laughs> <laughs> what can you do now? I mean, it's the middle of the season. Fitness is obviously, it's been an issue yeah. that has been highlighted over the past since African rugby. Yeah. Nothing has was seemingly done about that. What can you do now in the middle of the season to change that? Well, the first thing we've we'll asked uh, is that we've got certain things to be put in place so like for training, uh, let's say, on the um, on a Thursday, we will have a bit more contact sessions and reaction speed drills and things like that. I think that's something that we can work on. If you think you're going to change it immediately, it's not going to work. There's a lot of things that we can put in place on that. But by saying that, I think it's an extra bit of that and an extra bit of this. I'm going to do much detail about that now. It's, it's going to be confusing. But it's a lot of things as a team that we can do to be better. You know, reaction drills, things like that. So we know what the way forward is. Um, and there's certain things we need to put in place for that. And the Highlanders, what do you need to do differently? Island. What will you need to do differently against the Highlanders? No, you have to be accurate to do it then. You have to be, you have to be the same thing I've said just now. You could be up fit and your action speed and everything, execution has to be perfect. Otherwise, they will punish you. I mean, they were 41 21 behind uh, against the Cheetahs with five or six minutes left. They scored three tries. If at the last minute I'm going to, you know, if one player kept onto the ball for the Cheetahs, there's going to be a different result. He lost the ball. And they scored seven points from that. So if you're not going to be up against it, it will be a long day. Thomas, um, sorry, just going back to Adrian. Um, have you been happy with the way he's been playing? And, and do you think, I mean, he obviously had quite I'm a I'm not happy with playing, how anybody's playing at the moment. I mean, they're all saying at the moment by himself. To single out one person, it's not going to be fair to Adrian or anybody else. I might not be happy with um, Monumenta next to me. But uh, <laughs> uh, the end of the day. <laughs> End of the day, you know, singling out one person, I don't think it's fair. I think as a leadership group, we didn't perform um, well, well enough. Uh, and, and that's it. Singling out one person for, you know, a whole team thing, it's not, it's not fair. Do you, you had a torrid time last year with the Springboks, obviously. Do you, do you think his confidence took a bit of a dent? <coughs> no, obviously. I mean, it he didn't go through a great time last year with the, the, the Springboks. You know, injuries of their back operation, coming back. Uh, the side lost two matches, matches when he came back. Obviously, you know, that's something, if you come back into a side that's winning, it's easy, because you just, you know, falter from that energy. But you come into a side now which is bad, you're not playing well, it's, uh, it's always difficult. But to single out one person for, uh, you know, uh, you know, Ken, as I'm saying, it's, it's a team effort, it's a collective thing. Okay. Um, um, you guys always, well, you have press conference, you're always positive, you're confident. <laughs> um, <laughs> speaking about the next big game, but considering the last result, yeah. there's something missing. You have the confidence, but there's something missing. And you just said, no, you can't blame one player. Yeah. But what who do you look at, or what do you think is the root cause of the performances? I think uh, it's a series of events. If, you, if you're winning, it's fine. You're building that confidence. If you start losing, then it's very difficult to get players out of that. If you take Saturday, for instance, in the first 10 minutes, we were in attack the whole time. Uh, we should have converted three points into seven points. We didn't do that. Crusaders scored like three easy tries against us. And then confidence becomes a problem because then belief is a problem. Uh, but I always said, you know, winning is a habit, but so is losing as well. Man. So to get the players out of that, it's a hard focus for us to get them ready for this weekend. But I must admit as well, with a lot of a lot of the, of the guys at the moment, you know, they, they know they're not good at the weekend. So for them, you know, if the quicker they can get to Saturday and prove that they can play rugby, it's much better for them. 
you know, uh, they want to go out and prove everybody wrong, and they want to, you know, show they play for the fight of the union. I mean, the result on Saturday was was not good enough, and I know it. And they want to go out this weekend and show what they can do. We're not talking winning, losing, or anything at the moment. We're talking about passion and pride, and you know that's the thing for us at the moment. You know, I least all believe that the result can go anywhere in Super Rugby, and seven days a long time in rugby. But for us, it's both focusing on that, you know, getting guys up for it on Saturday. And if they can play today, they will, they will play today because they want to get the Crusaders behind them. Coach, you're 17 points behind the third final qualifying spot. Are you still hopeful of a playoff spot? I think it's going to be very difficult to make a playoff spot now. If the storm has slipped up, then we might be able to. And, but it depends on... I said to the guys, well, don't even focus on that. You know, focus on the next game and the next step that we have to do. And the next step is this weekend's uh, game. Anything in rugby is possible. You never know. But it doesn't help talking about playoffs if we don't focus on what we need to do this weekend. Well, it's, um, I think Radu is very nice. And one of the young captains is that he's in super rugby. And so he's one of the guys who has his contract signed. Is that a teken for the pad pro end? And do you have to go into the way to as captain to have Adrian net to go into the way to go into the way? My plan is always for Andrew to be in the way to go into the way to go into the um, als baie van die, van die juniors wat ek geteken het voor hem toe, want sy rede geweest daar om dit en dit, ek het altijd gesê, as, ek het een vier jaar plan, ek wil graag met die bille wees vir die volgende vier jaar, en daarvoor het ek sêke spelers geteken, en sêke daar is inspring. Ander was altijd deel van my planne, ander weet precies waar hy staan met my, en wat die pad voor hem toe is. Uh, daar is, om, om met ons die besiesie wat ons nou is op die oomlik, is daar een moeilijkheid dat ek met ander voor hem toe kan gaan, as kaptein, en bou vir die, vir die toekomst, ja definitief. Maar ek sal eerst daar weer gaan laten pak. Ek dink dat um, ons is nou in een positie waar ons moet um, weet, uh, vernieuwing, uh, ons moet wijzen dat ons gepakt voor hem is en, en ons moet kyk wat in die karibie gaan gebeur en ons moet ook daarna dink en ons geneem dat jy hem te speel. Ek wil ons het 6 wedstrijde oor basis en langer wat gebeur met stommers en ons feit is wel feit ons handheid en ons met focus op die naweet. Maar ander was altijd plan voor hem toe. Ons plan is jong voor die algemeen as jy kan kyk, baie jongs man. En hy was al kaptein geweest van 90% van die spelers. So ek dink dit is een makkelijke rol vir hom. En nou is Adrian's injury, was het a training? Nou, hy's been stitch up already from last week, it's from training. Mm. And um, it doesn't help inject someone to play. Yeah. Because you're not going to be 100%. The same thing, I didn't play him last week. Yeah. I mean, and it's, it's still good stitches in, he went for x-ray now. Uh, I, I don't know what the result is, as well, to see if it's healing or not. So I'll speak to the doctor afterwards. But do you anticipate that he's going to be out for? I, I don't know what to say, because then you broke me and then it's how I said to me. No, no, because you, you, <laughs> you said that. <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> no, I don't know how long it's going to be. I'll speak, no, I saw the doc come and pass me now of the x-ray, so okay. I, I don't know. I'll check, maybe a week or two. Can I see another one? Yeah, you can always try. I can't tell you what I'm saying. I'm going to scrape him away. um given the defensive woes last week, was there... Temptation to maybe shift Jesse to 15 and bring in Jan at, at number 13? Yeah, I think that was uh, there as well, but I think that, you know, it's it's not all, uh, only that was a mistake, you know, we stood up a lot of position and they just keep behind us and, you know, it was just a, how do you call it? It wasn't a good day at the office. <laughs> it wasn't a good day at the office. So, look, I, I, I've, I've, I've spoken to Jan as well. He knows what his role is for, you know, coming up. And uh, I think that Berger and... Um, Jesse makes a good, good, good combination, and uh, and you know, second half I can bring young up a guy like Mo makes a difference. I think I'll be good three extra uh, centers. So for me, it's and I also I give the Warwick the opportunity to grind to the position. I think he's an excellent talent, and you you will need more games on. I mean, he's never played against New Zealand sides, and this is a good opportunity for him to play now. He's a guy for the future as well, so we need to play him, get him through it, smack him once or twice. <laughs> but he's a good he's a good rugby player. Nou is, um, as mens nou wees uit so saterdag, die helft het my ontspant van van ons tener, het raad sê, die snoeskerf diep ingele, is dit, is dit die geval? En as ek in die selle gehoud het, het gesê, maar ek wil het sê, en so dit. So. <laughs> nee, ek denk, as, um, as jy kyk, ons het gekyk na sekere posities, en sekere goed wat ons neem, baie van lees, in die force, brimmers gekyk, wat nie, brimmers al gestart het, brimmers gekyk, het sê gekryd, dinsdag vir die oefening, en het vandag maar kom sê, coach, maar ek kyk nie helemaal recht nie, so, die verandering wat ons gemaakt het, daar sê recht, is meestal beseerings, so, uh, ek, ek, om dit te antwoord so, dit is rond om dit, um, Ronaldo is altijd uitgegaan het, is Andrew ingekom het, um, Ronaldo is die laatste nie gespeeld, is Andrew reg wat nie, so ek dink dit is maar net, dit is jy, dit is nie raar een gesnoeiske, Burger, um, 
from your point of view, what, what went wrong on Saturday? I think just too many mistakes and they capitalized on it. Um, I think they're a quality side and if you make mistakes, they'll punish you for it. And I think it, uh, that showed on Saturday. Baby, you, you obviously two years ago, you, you were the star of the show against the Crusaders. Did, did you feel this time around, playing the New Zealand sides and playing particularly them, that you guys were a yard behind in terms of intensity and, and probably even fitness, as, as has been alluded to? Um, I won't say fitness, but I think we lacked intensity at times. Um, yeah, and I think that's something that we're working on, especially in this week. We try to up the ante, so yeah, hopefully we can change it going forward. Look, uh, I mean, as players, you, you mentioned a lack of intensity, but, but during the week, the message was always that, you know, you guys were going to come out firing, it was going to be very physical. Um, why didn't that happen on Saturday? What, what can you put your finger on? No, um, I just think a lot of mistakes and yeah, they just capitalized on it. Under the Rudine, the uh, Fuxite's aspect and the hand spoot and the spoot on the Owens, for all the Zealanders spiel, and there is a factor that is now over gepraten. The faster facet and under andere the scrums that they were now good here genoemd. What what gebeur here here in the week? Ja, ik denk het gaat altijd moeilijk wees als jou vaste was sit onder druk is. Ek denk jy gaan nooit um, voor voetbal kry nie, maak het moeilijk vir enige achterlijn, maak het moeilijk om te verdedig. So, het is klaar begin, ons klaar op die achtervoet gevang was. Ek denk ons het een paar goed um, plek gesit um, in die week, ons paar nie bij ons. So, ons gaan in die nawek het vat, um, so, dus hy is weer gedoen op die Highlanders. So, kom saterdag met elke ouwe net opwees. Um, recht was om te speel en dan moet ons dit beter betoon in sy dynamiek, vooral by vaste facette. Nou, dus does it give you guys some hope that the Highlanders against the Cheetahs was a, I mean the Cheetahs were on top for a long time um, and I mean if you guys can just look after the ball better than they did in the closing stages, there's hope, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I believe for seven days of rugby is a long time. I said it previously. I think that any side can beat any side on the weekend. Um, I think if we can execute better than we did, uh, you know, we've seen a much better chance of challenging. I think, I don't, I'm not sure what, about, what the Cheetahs are giving against the Highlanders. I mean, it's been a seven days later. They're a good and excellent side. We just need to focus on how, how things, are, you know, and then we will go much better. I just, I don't, I'm not sure what about the Cheetahs Highlanders game. I think that you know, she just played well against the Crusaders as well. Um, still got 40 or 50 points against them. And um, at the end of the day, it's, it's going to be tough against the New Zealand sides, and we must just make sure that we execute better on our, our different areas. Okay, thank you very much.